What is up you guys? Welcome back. Today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be going through my empties. So I'm going to show you guys like what are the things I have used up recently, uh, whether or not I'm going to repurchase or if I've already repurchased and kind of like my thoughts on it and stuff. So some of these things are going to be repeats. If they're a repeat, then I will like let you know this is a repeat of an empty. Obviously, you know, if it's in here multiple times, it's something that I do like. I do repurchase and continuously buy. So, um, first things, okay, and then also I have like a mix of things. So, beauty, lifestyle, cleaning, all the things. So, um, first thing I'm going to show you is these, I have actually a couple of them, Bath and Body Works hand soaps. I love these. They come obviously in all different packaging, all different scents. They have them for like every holiday and all throughout the year basically. So I like I love that. I think that's so fun. So um right here I have the marshmallow pumpkin latte, which was really I really liked this one. And then flannel. Obviously, this is like tried and true, favorite of a lot of people. And um they, these also last a really long time. Like I did notice that I don't know if it's because it's like a foam, so it uses less per pump, but it's still enough to like thoroughly wash your hands. But I really liked this. And like I said, so this one obviously is like a fall scent and I bought them, I believe in October. And this one, I just like, I didn't put this out in October, but I bought like Bath and Body had the deal five for like 23 or 25 or something like that. So I did, I got five of them or whatever, but like it's now January and I'm just now finished up like fall slash kind of Christmas scents. So they do last a long time, which I think is good. And if you don't get them on that sale, the five for 20, whatever it is, um, you can also get them like when they're on sale for like $3 and some change. And then I did see on Bath and Body's website recently that you can get them for like $1.88 or something crazy um, on the like Christmas ones. So if that's something that you're interested in and you want to maybe stock up and save for like this coming Christmas, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, so moving right along to this cleaning spray right here. This is from Branch Basics. And I love this stuff. I love, for one, the sprayer on this bottle. I know that sounds so weird, but like, if you know, then you know. So <clears throat> this is a like cleaner that you can use. It's totally non-toxic. So you can use it to clean like your fruits and vegetables. You can use it on your countertops. You can use it like so many different ways, which I love that. I mostly use this for cleaning like fruits and vegetables and stuff. And I really, I really like that a lot. And, um, I don't know. I just think it's really a good, good cleaner. It does a really good job of cleaning, but it is safe for kids and pets and all the jazz. And then you'll get, when you buy this, you get the little concentrate. So this is full of like basically the soap or the cleanser and you fill it up with water, dump this in, fill the rest up with water. Good to go. So, like I said, I love this, and it's five bucks. If you buy this, they call it a trial um, trial pack or trial version of this, and they're $5 each. So when I order these, I usually order like four at a time or something, and then just like kind of store them away. That way, every time I need one, um, I have it. So, because I do kind of go through it, because like I said, I use it on a ton of stuff in my kitchen, and... Like, I love it. So, of course, I go through it a lot. Okay, next thing is Vital Proteins. This is definitely a repeat. I've bought this many, many, many times. I will probably continue to buy this. And um, the only thing is I might try to find, I've been trying to stay away from, like, dairy and meat and stuff like that. So, I might try to find one that's, like, plant-based or, like, kind of like a vegan version because this is not vegan. Um and see kind of like how that goes. I'll see, maybe, maybe not. 
Okay, this right here is a favorite. So this is the IGK dry shampoo. This stuff works so good. I have tried, I do hair for a living. That's what my job is. I don't work right now. Obviously I stay home with my daughter, but when I do work, I do hair. And I have tried so many dry shampoos and some are straight up junk. Some are just okay, and some are bomb, and this one is bomb. It is a little bit on the pricey side as far as, like, um, a dry shampoo goes, but it also kind of depends on what sh dry shampoo you've been using to compare on price, if that makes sense. So this one, I believe, is like 25-ish, somewhere in there, and, um, like, I did go through it pretty quickly because... You know, I use it a lot and this one's really good. It like smells really good for one. For two, it adds a lot of good texture to the hair. So you can even use this on clean hair just to give it like a little bit of that grit for styling. So I really, really love it. I ordered another one from IGK. It's like a green, the sticker looks green. So I don't know exactly what the thing is called. This one is the first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. And the other one, I'm not exactly sure what the like name of it is, but the packaging is green. And I just wanted to try another one from this line. Um, but I did stick with the IGK because I love this so much. Next little empties in here is the Mary Ruth's Kids Gummy Vitamins, multivitamin. And these are, if you're looking for good vitamins for your kids, definitely do these. These are a repeat. I have bought these many, many times. Um, my daughter, Nova, she loves these. If ever I give them to her, she's like literally asked me for more, which obviously you cannot give them more, but they're like that good and that easy to give to your kids. So if you have picky eaters and you're concerned about them getting all the vitamins, minerals, nutrients, I would definitely recommend a multivitamin and those, the quality is great and they taste really good. So they're easy to get them to take. Next one is this um, Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. It's a moisturizer. And this I really did like. It is really spendy though for a moisturizer. So I did not, I would repurchase this. There's nothing wrong with the product, but I didn't repurchase it because I was looking for something that was not, I'm pretty sure this was like 60, 70 bucks. And I was looking for something that was not that crazy. So what I ended up ordering instead was the Ordinary um, Moisturizer. It has like hyaluronic acid and I really, really, really like that moisturizer. It is like super affordable, especially compared to that one. And it really does the trick. It's like under 10 bucks. So if you go to Sephora's website and you look up the Ordinary, their line is super affordable. But I've heard really good things about their um like results and you know how good they work they are very very good from what i've heard so i thought i'd give it a try and i got the moisturizer so far i really like it so if you're looking for a moisturizer that's not like crazy crazy expensive definitely give it a go okay so next things are this puracy sorry about that there we go the glare puracy um natural shampoo this is what I use on Nova a lot of the time. Um, and then also the Piracy body wash. She has really sensitive skin. And I just feel like with body washes and shampoos and stuff, like you have to be really careful what you put on the little ones. I mean, even adults, but especially little ones because they're so sensitive to chemicals and stuff that's super harsh. So these are non-toxic, sulfate free, and they are plant derived. So I really, I really like this. I've been using this um, since Nova was pretty much a newborn. So, and I really like it. They've got lotions, obviously the shampoo, conditioner, bubble bath. Um, they even have like laundry, like stain removers. And I'm pretty sure even like um, dish soap too. So they've got like a good variety of stuff. And I really do like them. Okay, so a couple more that I'm going to group together. 
um, are deodorants. I have been, okay, so obviously the PRC is a repeat. Hello, like I should have said that. But okay, so these are something that, deodorants are something, clean deodorants, that I have been searching and destroying for one that A is effective, B is somewhat reasonable in price, and C um, does not light my armpits on fire. It is so difficult to find that in a deodorant. I have bought several salt of the earth. So this one I would say is like a decent one. It's not crazy expensive. Um, it does work pretty well. Like it's not like the most, uh, it's not like an antiperspirant deodorant, you know, it's not going to make you like be fresh all day long, but it doesn't totally wreck my armpits. So I do like that. I, like I said, I have purchased several of these, um, and I do like it. And this one's like a roll on. So if you don't like roll on, this one does feel like a kind of like a more of a wet consistency. So if you don't like that, you will not like this. And then they also have like spray deodorant. Again, if you don't like the wet feeling, you're not going to like that. I'm not crazy about the wet feeling, but it's not like a no for me. And then I tried this Kapari, which I thought, like I had high hopes for this one because it has coconut oil in it and like um, this one does not have like baking soda in it I'm pretty sure because I'm pretty sure baking soda is one of the things that I cannot use in a deodorant like it just irritates my armpits so bad um, this one at first I was like oh my god I love it this is great it's good it works pretty good like the efficacy is pretty good on it as far as like you know making your armpits smell good and it wasn't irritating my armpits all that um then all of a sudden out of nowhere my armpits looked like they had burns on them like literally the whole area where like you put you know you open your arm you put the deodorant in there and then you close your arm so it kind of like you know from like your arm moving around and stuff like gets all over everywhere where that deodorant had touched my skin looked red and burnt and my skin felt really like dry and rough it was the weirdest thing ever this is not the worst deodorant i've tried as far as irritation but it was definitely like not good so i will not be repurchasing this unfortunately i do like that um you know it was it's not like super wet it's got this like tan kind of color which looks kind of weird and it doesn't look like it's all the way used, but it's like all the way completely rolled up. I can't roll it up anymore to use it. And plus my armpits did not look good. Um, so this was unfortunately a no for me, but it is a clean one. So, okay, this is tried and true. I have purchased so many of these. I will definitely continue to purchase this. This is totally affordable, good quality. It's like a pretty clean product and i really love it i always get the coconut water one because like i love anything coconut or pineapple anything that smells like the beach or anything remotely close to that i love it so i love 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 that toner okay and then next thing is going to be toothpaste so this is another thing that's like pretty important to like have as far as the clean products go this one is from young living and it is obviously like the kids um, line of products and stuff and this I got for Nova obviously and it was a citrus flavor pretty good um, obviously I don't brush my teeth with it so I don't have like a rave review as far as like was it so good was it so bad did I love it did I hate it um, she seemed to like it and I would definitely repurchase this in like a Young Living order I don't buy from Young Living like super regularly I do love the thieves cleaner and then of course like some oils or roll-on stuff like that but I'm not one of those people who has like those like subscription orders coming and all that so when I do buy from there like it's definitely something I totally would repurchase okay this toothpaste is pretty good clean toothpaste like fluoride free toothpaste is so difficult to find like a good one that actually like bubbles up and like foams when you're brushing your teeth. A lot of them are like so flat. That's like the only way I can like really describe it. Where like 
it almost seems like the toothpaste like disappears in your mouth. It's the weirdest thing and it just doesn't feel clean. And I am not about that life. I cannot get on board with that. So this one was pretty good. I did repurchase it. And this one's pretty affordable because I've seen some like clean toothpaste and they're crazy expensive. Like seriously, no. And so this one, I did repurchase. I It's decent. It foams up and bubbles up a little more than the rest. So I will still like continue to try new ones and like different ones to see if I can find the perfect one. But I'm not trying to spend 20 bucks on a tube of toothpaste either. Do you know what I'm saying? So here's that. Okay, this is one of my favorite products. I have purchased like so many of these and I will scrape that sucker clean because this stuff is bomb and it's called the bomb. So no, it's not called the bomb. It's called slay makeup remover. Okay. Excuse. But this stuff is so good because not only does it take off all of your makeup, but it comes with this little tube and I don't even have one in here because literally this little tube that it comes with is like the little tube that never ends. It just keeps on giving this like exfoliating sand kind of. It is so good. Like you put a little scoop of all this out, put it on the back of your hand. I kind of like fan it out and then I take that little um, thing of sand, I'm gonna call it, and I put it on the balm, cleansing balm, and mix it all in and exfoliate your face with that. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It does not like totally scratch up your face and like leave it feeling so like, whoa, stripped, because the obviously the cleansing butter balm is super like moisturizing, but it just makes your skin feel so good. So I will like do the first cleanse with this, take all my makeup off with it, and then go back, like remove most of it with like a washcloth and then go back with a different washcloth and then, you know, use the cleanser on my skin to get rid of the, any residue from that, like oily stuff. And it is so good. So if you are looking for a good makeup remover slash exfoliator, try that. And it's like decently priced. It's like around 30 bucks. 30 35 dollars and worth every penny of it okay next is this elf liquid eyeliner this thing is so good i recently ran out of this so i bought the huda or huda beauty um liquid eyeliner like it's like a liquid eyeliner on one side and a pencil on the other and I had that thing for like not even two weeks and it is so like, watch, I'll show you because I've got it right here. It's like so goopy and like it's just, it's not good. So, and especially for only having it for such a short amount of time and lately I haven't even worn makeup every day. So like how or why this thing like dried out so fast, I don't really know, but it's not good. So this is what it looks like and let's see which side is the right here so let me get close so you can see this of course it comes out like fine well I don't know if you can see that at all but just like look at this up here like for something being like basically brand new it's not performing like it's brand new I do like how it's like the double-sided little deal though and it's got like the roll-up pencil on the other side which the pencil works great but I wouldn't really recommend this so I'm definitely going to repurchase this little guy and this is like three bucks where that one's like I want to say like 20 or 25 dollars so be careful okay a couple more like makeup products Okay, so this one, holy grail product for me, ride or die, will never, I don't see myself ever going without this Fix Plus spray. It's basically like a setting spray for your face, but it's not really too 
give it the longevity. This is to like sink all the powders together into your skin to make them look like skin. I like dewy skin. I'm not a big fan of like super matte. Like if you can see like how I, my forehead and stuff, you know, in the light and stuff, my cheeks, like I like radiance all over. I do, and of course I use highlight like on my nose, on, you know, the cheekbone area and stuff like that. So, but as far as like my whole face, I like dewy. I do not like matte. To me, it just isn't, on my skin, it's not flattering. So this is like so good. Like if you have not tried it, definitely try it. This one is the one that I don't know if you'll be able to really, there you go. You can see it's got like a gold, like not glitter. I hate to say glitter, but like shimmer kind of in there. And I really liked this for like summertime because it does give your face like where you could see the gold little bit of, um, you know, shimmer on there, which I think is so pretty. They also have this in like a pink and it's really pretty too, but I feel like my coloring favors a little bit gold better. So I really like that. And I have purchased like, I can't even tell you how many of those. I don't even let myself run out. I've already, before I was even out of this one, I repurchased another one. This face and body, MAC face and body, same thing. I will always use this. I love that it's like thin. It just like kind of evens out the skin tone, makes your skin look super dewy, super like alive and radiant. It is not full coverage at all. It is very luminous and very sheer. So if you have oily skin, or like summertime might not be the best depending on skin type and your preference on skin finish, you might not like this one. But if you have um, combination dry and you like dewy, if you have combination and you like dewy, you will love, love, love this. And they have like a big bottle of this too. When I bought this, I think they were out of the big one. And so I just bought the small one and it still lasts a long time. Like a little bit goes a long way. Um, I also recently purchased this from Bite Beauty. This is the Micellar Foundation. It's a supercharged Micellar Foundation. This I really liked. This is more of like a moussey type um, consistency. It gives, I would say, like medium, like light medium coverage. It's not going to give you like a full on beat. Um, you can build it up kind of like, but it is dewy. So if you, and the reason why I say you can build it up kind of is not like by putting foundation and then going over it with foundation. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you can, um, put this on. And then once you put your, like your concealer, you set it and everything, it does build up to a, like a light full coverage. So it is pretty good. I would totally repurchase it. There's no problems. It is on the clean beauty on Sephora, which I do like. And um, the color was a good match. I got the color um, L25. I like that color for me too. Everything was pretty good. These are tried and true. I have purchased several of these Morphe, the little micro pencils. So that's what it looks like when it's like focus okay well it's very small and I like this for like I'll do like a kind of like the rough thing on my eyebrow fill it in and then you can go over the edge to really sharpen up the lines and really clean up the lines with this and I really like that if you have like really thick eyebrows and you want to like comb them first and then go in and fill them in, you can do that. Um, I went and way overdid my eyebrows. So I really literally have like a line of eyebrows. So I'm not really worried about the spoolie thing, but if you have a lot of eyebrows and you want to brush them, it's cool that it's there. This is the um, Dip Brow Pomade and I get the color Soft Brown from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This, I have purchased many, many, many of these and I really like it. This is, can be very intimidating to use because you use it with a brush and it is like 
it could be very heavy. So if you're new to filling in your eyebrows or you do not want like a very bold um, filled in eyebrow, if you want like a more of a natural look, I would not go with like a brow pomade thing like this. I would definitely do like a micro pencil like this because also you can fill in the brows and then brush over the eyebrows to basically like soften and just kind of comb it through the hairs and it gives it much more of a natural look. Whereas this, you are not going to get a natural look with this. This is a very like solid, heavy brow, kind of like what I have and it's, it's there. So, okay, this duo lash glue. I have purchased many, many, many of these and I will continue to purchase this. This eyelash glue does not irritate my eyes. Um, I love that it's a brush applicator and I just, I love it. it. It does get a little bit nasty, like goopy around the top. So that's just like inevitable. Like once you pull out the glue and it's on the wand and everything, like you put it back in there, it just does that. And it kind of it's supposed to dry so it kind of dries fast so sometimes like it gets like like I said goopy around the top so that's like my only slight little thing about it but I the quality in the performance of this little guy is so good that I don't even care and then this is my favorite mascara the voluminous lash paradise from L'Oreal I believe and it is so good. It's such a good mascara. It dries out really fast. It really does. Like I go through a lot of these, but I love the brush on it. And it just like coats the lashes with a lot of mascara right away. Like you're not sitting there for 20 minutes trying to get your eyelashes to look like there's something there. I have very fine, very minimal eyelashes. I have always had eyelashes like that where the hairs are so, so, so fine and just like not a lot of them and my eyebrows were the same way when i had eyebrows they were like so fine and light that like you could see right through my eyebrows just didn't really ever have like thick hair in my eye area so it hasn't made oh so look here is the puracy natural bubble bath and like i said tried and true it's good stuff Moroccan oil, oil, so good. Love the smell of this stuff. Um, they make this one and then they also make a light version, which is what I have right now. Um, this one is more of like a darker, like, I can't really show you cause this sucker is gone. But like, you can see the color a little bit on there. And so this one's like a little bit darker of like a amber type color. And the other one's lighter. So if you have like really, really blonde hair and you don't want any gold tones to it, I'd recommend the Moroccan Oil Light. If you have like very thick, dark hair, then this would be the one for you. Moroccan Oil obviously makes everything. Shampoo, deep conditioners, dry shampoos, hairspray, you name it. They pretty much make it all. They even make some body products and like... The smell of this is just heavenly. It works so good. And it's just something that I will always have. Or, and if I don't have it, like on hand, I will, it was something I will always go back to because I love it. Okay, so Thieves. This is like the surface spray cleaner. So tables, it even says on here like toilet seats, which I mean, this stuff will kill everything this will kill more than bleach more than lysol they if you look up on google um they'll show you like the little petri dishes and um with like germs and bacteria and whatever in there and it'll show you with all the different cleaners and then thieves and this by far beat them all it's very very good for that plus it's like super safe non-toxic safe for kids animals all that stuff so this is what I use not this little bottle obviously but like they come with like a concentrate bottle and that's what I use to clean my toilets my floors in my house anything that you feel like is really gross 
and you want really clean, like you want to kill everything on it, Thebes for sure, hands down. And it also like boosts the immune system. So that's super cool. It's not going to like hurt your body, you know? And then these wallflowers from Bath and Body are like one of my new favorite things because their house just always continuously smells good. These are not clean. They're not non-toxic. They're not the best for you, but let a girl live, you know? So I just love things that smell good and it brings me so much happiness. So I use the wallflowers and I just have them in the little two spots in my house heaven okay last two things one is this um sample or like it's not a sample it's a travel size I, or trial size or something of this watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer this was like all the rage for a minute there like everybody was using this and talking about it all the time so this came in like a sephora favorites thing i think i've got like a while ago and I tried it and I was just like am I the only one that doesn't really see like the rave about it like it just was kind of like I don't I don't know it was just like a gel it did not seem very moisturizing I don't know I just was not a fan so that I would not repurchase this is the pharmacy cheer up eye cream and this was just okay. This I don't have any like major complaints about and I don't have any like rave review about it. It's just like a decent little eye cream. It's a brightening vitamin C eye cream with uh, Erciola. Don't know. Cherry. Some kind of cherry in there. And like I said, I mean, it was just, it was all right. I mean, I wouldn't like definitely not going to repurchase it you know i wasn't really like crazy about it but like i said it was not terrible so all right you guys that's all i got this time around if you guys have any tried and true products let me know in the comments below i am constantly looking for new products and stuff that like maybe is not so popular and not so crazy on the radar of everyone and but you know, you always have those products that you're like, why do people not talk about this more? Like you just really can't understand it. Like those are the products that I like to hear. So if you have any of those, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.